to set those factors equal to zero. If you're happy just changing this so that you can put it in the graph, then that's fine too. And I can see negative two and one, two, three, positive three. So that's going to be D. Here I'm going to move my 34 over and I get negative 36. So I'm going to put in X minus six quantity squared minus 36. And I can see I have a root at zero, zero. All right, I'm going to say control T and it looks like right there, 12. So it's D. Again, we'll do these release questions in class. Um, I think there's one more set of we do, you do's here. Okay, so this is domain and range. So remember, we've already talked about this one. Domain and range, if there are solid dots, that is going to be or equal to. Don't forget to draw your window. You can take out a highlighter if you prefer so that you can see what's going on. So remember, domain is x, so negative 3 to positive 3. Range is y, negative 2 up here to 6. And when you highlight it, you can see that happening. And because these are actually touching those coordinates and those solid dots, it's going to be that we're equal to. Now, this one's a little different. Notice it has an open circle on the 2, which is part of our domain. So negative 1 is a closed circle, so or equal to. 2 is an open circle, so just less than here. Um, Zero is an open circle, so it's just less than, and, but it is touching at four, so it is a closed circle. Now, if you have arrows, you can't complete your window, so this is going to be all real numbers. It just keeps going in both directions, so remember that symbol is this, and the range is everything bigger than negative one. So if we're going to look at the you do's and the we do's, this is going to be simply one of those you can graph it and see what happens. So I'm going to say negative 2, x minus 4, quantity squared, what happens? So we'll just start over. That was a mistake on my part. Negative 2, x minus 4, squared. One. So you can see now you're not, it's going to keep going in all directions going down. So domain is going to be all real numbers, so it can't be A or D. Now, this is at negative 1. Negative 1 is the highest, so it's everything less than. And we talked about before, you've got your lows and your highs. Well, we don't have a low, so we're not going to fill that in. Your highest is a positive 1. So you're looking for this. And notice your symbols. Be very, very careful there. It is B. Um, this one, if you wanted to, you could put this in a list and spreadsheet and go to your graph. I'm just going to sketch a little graph. If I'm at negative 2, 0, and I'm at, you know, negative 3, positive 1, negative 1, positive 1, I can see that this is actually my vertex. And they're talking about the range, which is y. So I'm going this way. So this is going to be my lowest value. Well, this on this coordinate is 0. So it's going to be y is everything greater than or equal to 0. Or if you wanted to write it, 0 is the lowest y. So when you read these, be careful. It has to be b, greater than or equal to 0. Here you have a domain. I'm going to go ahead and do my window. It's not going to be a complete window because it's going to keep going here. So my lowest x is negative 5, and it's a closed circle, so it's 4 equal to, but then it just keeps going. So I don't have to write anything on this other piece. Now notice none of these show that, but if I flip-flop this, remember if you flip-flop, these, you have to flip flop that, that inequality so it's open to the x. So now it looks like c. So try the you do.
and then I'll go over that with you. So welcome back. We're going to grab this to find our domain and our range. x squared plus 4x plus 4. Domain is going to keep going, right? It doesn't stop. So it's going to be all real numbers. Can't be this one. Can't be this one. And the range, again, is everything bigger than zero. Zero is the lowest y value. So again, they've written it the other way. When you flip-flop it, flip-flop that inequality. So look at your symbols carefully. It's going to be B. This one, again, you can graph or you can sketch at zero, negative four, and then everything else is over here. So when I do my window for this, and it's talking about range, which is Y, we don't, our, we don't have a lower y value, but our highest y value is this negative 4. So everything is less than or equal to negative 4, which has to be A. And then if you do your window here, your range, okay, so range is y. So here I can see I'm at negative 5, but this is an open circle, so it's just less than and then it goes up to 4, which it does touch, so that is or equal to. So it has to be B. The very last piece that we have to look at um, we've got some release questions here. There aren't any practice questions on exponential, but I just wanted to go over that. So if B is greater than 1, remember, actually let's go down here first, our exponential function, this is our initial value, this is our increase or decrease to an x power. So when this b value is bigger than 1, that's going to be a growth, and it's going to go up. Um, make sure that you remember what an asymptote is, remember it's going to approach this x-axis, but it's not actually going to touch it. Um, and then if B is in between 0 and 1, meaning it is a um, decimal or fraction less than 1 but not negative, then it is a decay and it's going down. You still have an asymptote here. Um, and you can put these into list and spreadsheets. Remember, for an exponential, you need to have three numbers as well. Um, go ahead and work on those release questions, and we will go over those in class.